Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about banker's discount. So to understand this topic, let us consider a scenario where two people deal with each other. So the two people are A and B. And A buys some goods from B. These goods are worth 1000 rupees and A does not have immediate cash with him. So what A does is that A issues a bill of exchange to B. So this bill of exchange is basically similar to a check and this bill of exchange allows B to withdraw money directly from the account of A. But this bill of exchange is usually at credit. So the bill of exchange is worth rupees 1000 and at credit of 5 months let's say. So after 5 months B can go to a bank and withdraw money worth 1000 rupees from A's account. Now the validity of this bill of exchange is of 5 months, right? So the date after exactly 5 months is known as the nominally due date. And 3 days are given as grace days and the date after 3 days of the nominally due date is known as the legally due date. That is the last date on which the bill of exchange can be converted to the cash, right? Now consider that B is in urgent need of money and he wants this money before the legally due date. Let's say he wants this money after 3 months instead of 5 months. So what B can do is that he can go to a bank and give them this bill of exchange. And note that this is happening after 3 months, right? So after accepting this bill of exchange, the bank will give money to B. But will it give a total of 1000 rupees? That means the amount that was stated in the bill of exchange? No, it will not give the total amount. Why? Because obviously the bank will make its profit, right? It will keep some money. So how much money will it keep? Well, the bank will deduct some money which is known as the banker's discount from the face value that is from the value that was stated in the bill of exchange right so the amount deducted from the bill of exchange is known as the bankers discount okay so how does this bank calculate the bankers discount well the bankers discount is nothing but the simple interest on the face value that is stated in the bill of exchange for some certain rate decided by the bank and for the period that is remaining right so how much period is remaining well about two months and three days are remaining right so again the bankers discount is the interest on the face value of the bill of exchange at some r percentage the rate defined by the bank and for the time period remaining right the remaining period till the legally due date so if I have to state the formula for calculating the banker's discount, it will be equals to the amount that is stated in the bill of exchange times N times the rate of interest decided by the bank upon 100. Basically the formula for calculating the simple interest. Now there's another term called as banker's gain, which is the actually the profit earned by the bank while undertaking this transaction. So it is basically the banker's discount minus the true discount. So the profit obtained by the bank can be calculated by deducting the true discount for the expired time and then deducting it from the banker's discount. Right? So we know these two formulas. Let us solve a problem now. So the question is, a bill for 6000 rupees is drawn on July 14th at 5 months. It is discounted on 5th October at 10%. Find the banker's discount, true discount, banker's gain and the money that the holder of the bill receives. Okay, so we have been given the face value of this bill that is the amount. It is 6000 rupees. Now we will have to calculate the nominally due date and the legally due date right so for that we have been given on what date this bill is drawn so this bill is drawn on July 14th and the validity is 5 months 
right so the nominally due date will be five months after the date on which this bill was drawn okay so july 14th plus five months is actually december 14th right so the nominally due date will be december 14th now we need to calculate the legally due date and the legally due date is actually three days after the nominal due date right so it is december 17th now what is the formula for bankers discount well bankers discount is equals to the simple interest on the amount right and what will be the rate here the rate has been fixed at 10 percent so at 10 percent for the unexpired time now how do you calculate this unexpired time? So the unexpired time will be the time from, you know, the date at which the bill was discounted till the legally due date, right? So we will have to calculate how many number of years does the time from 5th October till December 17th constitute, right? So the unexpired time will be the number of days in October plus the number of days in November plus the number of days in December, right? So the bill was discounted on 5th October. So how many number of days are remaining till 31st October? Because October is of 31 days. So 31 minus 5, that's 26. So we have 26 days in October plus November is of 30 days, so plus 30. Plus the legally due date is December 17th. So we will take the 17 first days of December, right? So 26 plus 30 plus 17 is 73 days, right? Now you need to convert this into years. Okay, so 73 by 365 years and that is actually 1 by 5 years. So we've got the time period. Now we can calculate the banker's discount. Right, so this is the simple interest on the amount. So what is the amount? Amount is 6,000. So 6,000 times N. N is 1 by 5 years. So 1 by 5 times the rate is 10 upon 100. Okay, 5 times 2 is 10 and these zeros get cancelled out. So 60 times 2, that's 120 rupees is the banker's discount. Now you need to calculate true discount. This true discount will be calculated on the amount of 6,000 rupees, right? So you know the formula for true discount. That is amount times N times R upon 100 plus N times R, right? So this is equals to 6,000 times 1 by 5 times 10 upon I have 100 plus 1 by 5 times 10, right? So 5 times 2 is 10 and 5 times 2 is 10 here also and if you calculate this you'll get the value as 117.64 right so this is the true discount now what is remaining we have to calculate what is the bankers gain so bankers gain is actually the bankers discount minus the true discount isn't it we just saw that so 120 minus 117.64 and that is equal to 2.36 rupees, right? So that is the banker's gain. That means the profit that the bank makes. Now, lastly, we need to calculate how much money is given to the holder of the bill, right? So how much money is returned? Well, the money received by the holder of the bill will be the amount that was stated in the bill of exchange minus the banker's discount. The bank keeps the banker's discount with itself and gives the rest of the money to the holder of the bill. Right? So money returned will be equal to the amount is 6000 minus the banker's discount is 120 rupees. So this is equals to 5880 rupees. The money returned. So this is how you solve problems on banker's discount.